and it starts very, very well. So she's got to the gates here and there's a little bit of a path in front of the gates. So she's just going to pause there just so she can look both ways before she goes over the path and onto the road. In this test centre, you always seem to turn left and that takes you up to some traffic lights. Now she's starting off really well because there's a van that's reversing in front of her and she's made a space on the road and now she's going to use that space. She, slept, she made a space by slowing down. She's got a uh, nice position on the road here as she's going past these parked lorries. And what you'll see here as well is she positions the car very well, kind of equally distant between the parked cars and the oncoming traffic. So everything is going fine. Um, it all seems quite smooth. You'll see how the road opens up for her and now she's going a little bit quicker. So everything is going well. We're coming up to the traffic lights now. And um, she's going to stop the car in the traffic queue uh, just behind this skip lorry. And it will look a little like she's stopped a little too far back, uh, which could be the case, but also sometimes uh, from the kind of um, dash cam, uh, from the angle of that, um, it can look as though it's a bit bit further away than it actually is. I actually think she's stopped a bit, a little bit too far back at the moment. The lights have gone to green and uh, she's going to go through these lights. Now the traffic becomes very heavy and the traffic lights will change just as she's crossing the line or just before she crosses the line um, there. She still crosses the line but um, she can't go forward because it, she's being blocked off. And by the time the white lorry gets to move out of the way, the rest of the traffic has started to move in front of her. The examiner has put the brake on and it's been two minutes and nine seconds of her test uh, before the examiner has put the brake on. Actually, if you look at this position, she's in quite a safe position actually here. Well, the examiner stopped it in a quite a quite safe position because they're still inside the junction. They're not impeding the traffic on the main road. And uh, if, if a student had to stop the car at this point, I don't think that's a fail. Uh, it probably might be a minor fault because she went over the light and it was just going to amber. You might, you might argue that she was quite on top of it there and uh, there wasn't time to stop, although in my opinion, there probably was. So that might be a, a, a minor fault there as well or a fault. But here, the examiner has stopped the car, so the test is, is effectively over now. And he's going to then direct her back to the driving test centre.